Hello people, hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to see how can we create multiple frames with just one single input inside the JTEX field. So first, we have to create a project, and you can name any of them according to your requirement. So here, I am just going to write Windows. This is our package, and inside that, we just need a single J frame form. Alright, so just you have to click over that package, go to new and click new J frame. Here we will give the first form name as forms.java and the second form name should be frames.java. So inside the form, we will be controlling how many multiple frames should be created when the user will give the input in the JTEX field inside the frames.java or forms.java right now what we have to do here is just give a single text field and give a single button just added the text and change the variable name so I am here writing mo as a variable name added the button text right here is press pre double s just double click it and go inside that action perform method here first thing first we just need to create a single variable the variable should be string because the data will be coming from the front end will be in string format so first we have to collect the data inside a single variable that has a data type of a string then you have to change the data type of that string into integer so a chunk of code that will help you to convert the string into integer is integer dot parse int inside the brackets you have to give the variable name then the variable name is num now create a for loop here give the number it starts from 0 or you can start from 1 just write here as lesser than the number that you have created above the for loop now just an error here we just have to write here as number inside the for loop block you just have to create an object for the frame that you want to open multiple time now we are just creating the object of that specific frame obj is equals to new frames brackets semicolon obj dot set visible true and this is all you need so when we just save the program and run the file so you will somehow look the output will be like this when the frame will come you will just have to put the input number here press the button and you can see that three multiple frames have been created Actually, the two multiple frame has been created because the loop starts from Z1 and is just running less than the number. So when we just remove the frame as form, just rename the class. So here it will open the forms.java class multiple time with the single input coming from the frames.java. So this is how easily you can just do this task from a for loop using java swing so as you can see the multiple form has been created so it is that easy if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel in tuition tonight hopefully you will be able to use this concept inside your project that you are creating if there is any problem you can just ask a question inside the comment box